It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And it is day 22 of the Lexington Bourbon Society Advent Calendar. Mm -hmm. After this, we only have two more days. I know. I'm bummed. What do we have? We have a Jim Beam single barrel. This is a pick by C&B. C&B. This is something we don't have any info on. No, but when we find out the info, we'll put it down in the description. Mm -hmm. But at this point, we're kind of in the dark. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's a Jim Beam single barrel pick. It's Jim Beam uh, single barrel. Yeah, so normally uh, it looks like this. This is a bottle that, uh, geez, I need to finish. Yeah. Because this one was bottled uh, in 2014. Wow. Um, so I need to finish that up and get a new one. Uh, so we have some homework to do. <laughs> yeah. So this is a 95 proof, which that's, this will make this one a 95 proof as well. And Jim Beam single barrel. You know, I don't know if a lot of people have, if they venture out to the single barrel yeah. for, for Beam or not. I know, right? Wow. That's a great nose. Kind of reminds me of like cereal, <laughs> but caramel and... Caramel, sweet. Caramel yeah. popcorn. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, sweet, a um, little nutty, a little caramel. Bit. Mm -hmm. it smells really buttery. I think this is a great, great nose. Mm -hmm. I think most people would say it's a signature beam nose. Yeah, I almost think that can have, depending on your person, bad connotations. Right. Well, some With people have a bad feeling towards Jim Beam, which I don't really understand because I like Jim Beam. I think it's because, you know, the best-selling Beam is the four-year-old, mm -hmm. which isn't their best offering. No. It's their youngest, it's their cheapest, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot better Beams out there. So when people have, oh, it's got that Jim Beam smell, they say it like that, or, oh, it's got that Jim Beam smell. So it can... Well, I mean it in a nice yeah, way. Yeah, it can be kind of polarizing. In the identity of Jim Beam. Right. You can tell from this. Yes. Right, right, because Beam, of course, also makers of Knob Creek, Bakers, Bookers, mm -hmm. Bad Lane, anything with a B, it seems like. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Except Knob Creek. Except All right. Knob. Knob Creek. And it is buttery. Smooth. It kind of spreads over your tongue, and the finish is starting to go towards the, the barrel wood. Mm -hmm. The charred oak. I think the finish is a little bitter. It has a, you know, that slight Jim Beam nut finish, but not strong like like in others. It's okay. <laughs> I think it's a little uh, bitter and dry on the finish for me. Um, now that's interesting, because you know dry is a killer for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting dry. I think it's, uh, of course, 95 proof, you know, it's going to be pretty easy, but I think this is a... Uh, a very easy drink. I like the front and mid palette pretty well. Um, it's not blowing my mind or anything. On the second taste, the finish isn't as bitter or as dry, but I'm still getting that. I do. All right. I do get the bitter once the finish really decays. I got kind of that bitter note. It's pretty solid. Now I'll agree with you. It's not. It's not mind blowing. Mm -hmm. um, I think if this were like a a barrel proof, it would really be shining more. I think, you know, yeah. cutting it down to 95 proof I agree. is muting a lot of what could be happening here, but I could drink on this all night. I think it's just a, it's a, it's a good, like, it's a solid I feel like offering. it's a solid, yeah, solid mm -hmm. standard, you know, it's reminding me of the things that I like about Knob Creek and Booker's and Baker's, but it's just, falling short of those. So in my mind, we've down. been drinking a lot of those lately. And so in my mind, I'm thinking like, this is where I want it to be. And this is where it's coming in. Yeah. But it's still not down here. So, I mean, yeah, for a middle of the road kind of, you know, choice. I, mm -hmm. I, I like it. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said, it's been a minute since I've bought a Jim Beam single barrel. But I want to say that it is under $30 or maybe right around that. Yeah, it's over 25 but it's... I don't say it's definitely over 25 and definitely under 40 Definitely under 40 Yeah, I think it's in the $30 range. So, to compare this to a lot of the $22 offerings from Jim Beam, you know, the regular, the extra aged, mm -hmm. the uh, double oaked, mm -hmm. the new distiller's cut. Which I actually like. And so on and so forth. Um, I think this is definitely a step above 
of those. Mm -hmm. And for the price, I think it's really solid. Now, it, would it be the best, say it is $30, mm -hmm. the best $30? No, nah, no, I wouldn't, wouldn't think so, but I do think it's really solid and I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it a lot for what it is. I like it and I think it's a good pick. Mm -hmm. It is a good pick. So cool, yeah, good, uh, good offering. Thank you to uh, the person who provided it from the Lexington Bourbon Society. Mm -hmm. And that will do it yep, for do it. us. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Tune in tomorrow. We have a uh, another pick of a Four Roses single barrel. I think this is the McScrooge. Mm -hmm. McScrooge's pick of that. So look forward to that. And then we have one more day after yeah, that, which is our day. Thomas H. Andy Sazerac. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> looking forward to it, but also sad. Yes, looking forward, but I'll set. So, tune in. And until then, drink more bourbon.